all right hey guys welcome back to the channel and today we are doing another analysis on ANSYS so we will be basically doing the static loading on ductile material and uh, we have uh, since we have done the static uh, structural analysis of a plate with a central hole and uh, we'll use the same uh, same geometry uh, in this trail also so make sure you have watched it before uh, watching this one all right so both are different aspects but uh, also we will utilize a very important uh, tool from ANSYS which is the wizard so this is the mechanical application wizard as you can see and it basically uh, guides you uh, on with the successful simulation all right so it basically provides uh, you some tools uh, and wizards to assist you during the simulation process and it makes the simulation easy because uh, you know uh, it will cons consistently guide you what you're gonna do with the uh, during the analysis so as you can see it's ha it says required steps and you have to fulfill all these required steps all right so without further ado let's uh, uh, see what we are doing so we will uh, simply cre create a geometry with the circular hole on the plate and then we'll go for the default mesh we'll apply some tensile load and we'll calculate total deformation equivalent stress and safety factor all right so let's start with the tutorial i will delete everything from here okay <clears throat> all right so we'll pick up the static structural we can name it we can name it let's say static structural for ductile material i'm just going for shortcut so you know what is ss is a static structural dm is ductile material all right from here let's go for the geometry so double click to open the design modeler and the design modeler will create the geometry now the first thing that we always do in design modeler is go for units and change it to millimeter and then we'll sketch in the xy plane so i'll just select xy say look at switch to sketching start with a rectangle from the center draw a rectangle go for dimension this one this one we can change it so I want it to be 1000 mm this one let's say 400 mm right click in the drawing area and go for zoom to fit now we'll take uh, draw and go for a circle you can draw a circle go for dimension let's go for general dimension from this point to this edge and from the center of the circle to the left edge now we'll change the value so diameter is 200 this distance is also 200 also this one is 500 that creates a central hole on the plate now we'll go for extrude we'll apply the geometry the only thing that we have to change is the extent uh, depth so we want only 10 mm depth we can generate and here we have the rectangular plate all right you can hide your uh, plane like this you can hide or show your display plane where you have all the um, dimension constraint and axis all right let's say i hide it now We'll close the design modeler from here and once you are back in the workbench we'll double click the model to get us in the mechanical window it may take few seconds to open all right it's opening okay so we have our uh, model in the mechanical window now and uh, you can see the project details all over here now the first thing that i want to do with my mechanical window is i'll go to home 
and select my units as mm kg newton all right metric go for metric all right okay once we have set the units we can start with the wizard tool so in the home tab itself uh, you can see there is a wizard and when you click it you can see there is a window which says mechanical application wizard and we have the stress analysis and it says what you need to do with the uh, simulation so basically it says required steps are these 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 and every cross mark says that you have to mm, fulfill the requirement and once you fulfill it it will become a green tick and then you are good to go all right from here what we can do is we'll check the material first so i'll expand my geometry i'll take my solid and by default it will be structural steel and i'm okay with that i don't want it to be any other material now we'll apply some pressure so tensile load uh, we are applying a uh, minus how much we are applying okay we are applying a pressure of 30 MPa all right so for that I can come to static structural right click insert pressure and uh, make sure your face selection is active and you can select this face turn it around press the control and select this face so apply and in the magnitude we can go for minus 30 a since it's a tensile load all right once you have applied your pressure what we want is we need so as soon as you apply uh, pressure you can see the insert structural load is ticked earlier it was uh, cross mark now it is green tick so that means we have successfully applied the loads now we will we can also insert supports but uh, let's say we don't want to because uh, since we have done the earlier tutorial in which we have applied uh, the supports and let's say we are not going for supports this time so what we can do here is we can go to solution we can go for insert deformation total we can go to solution insert stress equivalent one misses and we can go to solution insert stress tool and go for maximum equivalent stress inside you you can see the safety factor is there right no issues right so let's go for solve Okay, so we are getting some errors so what we can do is if you can if you can come to analysis settings and if you come to details of analysis settings what you have to do is in the uh, solver control if you see the solver pivot checking go for make it off all right and then when you solve it you'll get the solution right so if you see the total deformation of 0.58 maximum and equivalent stress of 115.13 mpa also we have a safety factor of 2.2 right now the question arises here is why did we switch it off I mean why did we switch off the solver pivot so it's basically uh, I was going through the errors uh, that I was getting in my uh, during my analysis and I checked it with the ANSYS community forum and there they suggested that uh, in order to avoid such kind of error make sure your solver pivot checking is off 
and that uh, basically does not uh, create any changes in your uh, solution so your solution values are perfect so don't need to worry about that just make sure you, if you are getting those errors make sure you are uh, switching it off all right we have a if we analyze our results we have a safety factor of 2.2 maximum uh, not maximum we have a safety factor of 2.2 you can see the orange area all right and that's it with this tutorial i hope you understand why we utilize the wizard tool and you can see all the required steps are fulfilled we didn't apply any support so it's in fact a cross mark so that's fine for now uh, in in the future tutorials maybe we can uh, apply supports and then fulfill all the required steps of the wizard tool i hope you guys uh, like this video and if you have any doubts regarding this tutorial feel free to comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you are watching this peace out